course. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be uh, taking our focus back to pivot tables in which we're going to be looking at inserting slices. So before we get started what we've got is some data in our data sheet. So we have got a total of uh, six columns of data uh, all with randomly generated information and you can see very creative names we've used in column C. Uh, so as we all always do again this is just completely random generated data so it doesn't tie to anyone so there is there's no sensitive information here at all and we've just given a uh, date of birth and age and a random gender to all of these individuals and as you can see we've got some city and location information as well. So if we go to our pivot sheet, we've also just put in a very basic pivot uh, table, what gives us uh, the city in column A and the average age in column B. So what we're going to do is uh, use this to demonstrate how to, well, one, insert a slicer and two, the benefits of using these slicers. If you haven't seen our videos on pivot tables before, you might want to check them out before carrying on, especially with getting started and inserting your very first pivot table. If you haven't seen that video, links to that should just now be on the screen, so you can go and check it out now or at the end of the video, just so you're uh, completely confident with how to insert a pivot table in the first place. So the benefit of slices are basically, or they are filters uh, for our tables, but they allow us to filter a pivot table or multiple pivot tables without having to um, actually filter the table itself by either drop downs or using the filtering that we have available in our pivot table in our um, filter uh, quadrant of our pan pi uh, pivot table panel, what you can see on the right of the screen here now. So in order to enter a pivot table, I mean, sorry, in, or, in order to enter a slicer, have your cursor selected within your pivot table. So for us, that's uh, either column A or B. And if you go towards the top of your ribbon in Excel, you can see we've got an insert tab. And over to the right hand side, um, as for us, under the filter section, but for you, it might be slightly different depending on the uh, version of Excel you're using. But you just want to find the option for slicer. And once you've located that, you just need to select that slicer button. So once you've done that, you'll get a pop-up and it will show you uh, the slicers available. So for us, we can see we've got tick boxes of country, city, date of birth, age, and gender. So these are all the, um, all the fields available in our data set. So for us to get started, we're just gonna use country. So you could tick multiple ones of these and we'll go through that in a moment but for us we're just going to use we just want to use country so all you need to do is select country and then once done that you can do okay and this is our slicer we now have available to us and you can click and drag and move it anywhere you wish on the page and you can also reduce the size of it um, to make it a bit more tidier uh, or as much as desired so what we have now is we've got all of these countries what are in our data and as mentioned before column A of our pivot table is showing all of the cities. So if we want to do uh, a summary or see what the average age as we have in column B is, is for a number of city or all the cities within only one of these countries, all we need to do is find the country, we'll go for United Kingdom, select that country and the pivot table automatically update for you. So you can see we can now see the average age by UK city for the whole of United Kingdom. If you wanted to do Spain instead, then obviously you can do that by selecting Spain. Or if you wanted to select multiple items, you can select multiple ones by holding either down control or shift on your keyboard and selecting the multiple ones you wish to look at. And that will build up as shown there. And then if you decide you don't want to have any filters applied, you want to clear them, you have this clear filter button here. And there's also the shortcut key you can see of Alt-C available as well. Cool. And so that's using the slicer. So what we also want to do is, as we said, we don't have to use just the one. And we'll just remove this slicer for the time being. So this time we want to enter two. We also we want to do country and we also want to do gender. So let's do insert. Let's go over to our slicer sheet. And this time we're going to select um, country and gender. So all you need to do is tick as many as you wish to insert and then select OK. And you can see that this time, simply put, you just now got two slices rather than the one we had originally. So you can now move these anywhere you wish on your page. Let's just put them there just to be a bit tidier, maybe the one above the other. And now what we can do is we can see 
uh, or change what filters we have. So if we wanted to just look at the male um, or average age for all males globally, we can see that's updated here by selecting male or female and therefore clear for filter as well. Uh, but more so, what we're able to now do is we can look at, say, the United Kingdom and we can see what that looks like for the United Kingdom. And then if we only want to do it, the females, we could do female. And if we wanted to do male, we could also just do male like that. And that's as simply as it is. And this is how you use slicers. And slicers are very, very useful, uh, especially when you get into the realms of building dashboards with pivot tables or even just a good way to interrogate your data. Obviously, if you had a lot more fields um, and columns in your data set, then having multiple slices can help you when you're interrogating and trying to step through the data and work out any conclusions or outcomes that you have. These are also particularly useful when we start getting on to looking how we can actually build dashboards um, through using pivot tables and also pivot charts, another video that we've got coming up soon. So make sure you don't miss that. And the best way to make sure you don't miss that is by subscribing to our YouTube channel and hitting that bell notification button so that YouTube notifies you as soon as a new video of ours hits the channel. And also, if you found this video useful, please do give it a great big thumbs up because it would be greatly appreciated. And we hope you enjoyed that video on slices. If you've got any questions, uh, do just drop us a comment uh, below this video, or alternatively, you'll find links to our website and Facebook page in our description for this video if you'd rather get in contact with us there as well. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.